Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video on setting up ShipEngine. ShipEngine is a carrier service that is brand new to Acumatica 2019 R2. So in the past we've had Federal Express, UPS, and USPS via stamps.com. And those are the carriers we had. But ShipEngine offers up to 20 different carriers, such as LTL, as well as Federal Express and UPS. It also supports international shipping and all the documents necessary to get your shipments through customs. So let's take a look at how to set it up. The first thing you need to do is to set up your ShipEngine account. Now to do that and to make sure that you're linked up with Acumatica, you need to use this URL right here with the question mark ref equals Acumatica. This will ensure that your account has all the necessary hooks in order to link it up with Acumatica. So when we go to our dashboard, under account settings, there is a partners tab. And again, if you set up your account without that URL I just gave you, you won't see this partner tab. But you'll see the Acumatica link right here. And if you click edit, you'll see the Ship Engine account right here. So we go into Acumatica and we add a new carrier. We'll call this Ship Engine FedEx. We'll select the plugin Ship Engine. The Ship Engine account ID, we pull that from the dashboard and under our Acumatica connection, this account right here. We'll paste it. And as soon as we do that, as soon as we leave the field, you can see there's a drop down which gives you all of the different carriers you've set up with Ship Engine. These come from, you just close this and go to connections. They come from all your connections that you've set up. You'll set these up, establishing connections to the different carriers that you have accounts with. Right now I have stamps.com and FedEx. So when we go back to our carriers, you can see those are the drop downs which is why I call this Ship Engine FedEx because I'm going to choose Ship Engine FedEx here. There's some additional settings which some carriers don't support such as test mode. FedEx doesn't support the test mode but you'll troubleshoot that. The shipper from, this means your from address will be from the company branch as opposed to the warehouse. You have an option there. Confirmation means that the carrier will send out notifications to your customers because we pass the email address along to Ship Engine, along to Federal Express. Insurance, this is your label format. So for demonstration purposes, I leave it on an image file, but for your Zebra printer, for example, you're going to keep it on ZPL. And then you have these additional various settings, such as what happens when the international, there's a non-delivery option. What do I do? Who pays for the duty charges? Do I support multi-package and label message support? These are all settings you'll find from Ship Engine's setup. So in this case, we'll choose our unit of measure that's required setting up a carrier, and then we'll save this. Now we'll go over to our delivery methods, and we're going to create a new FedEx call this FedEx ground, but we'll put a little ship engine at the end of it just so that we know. It's an external plug-in. We'll choose our carrier, which we set up. Then we'll select a service method. These service methods are populated by ship engine. They all come in. So in this case, we'll select FedEx ground. Common Carrier indicates that it's a professional delivery service, therefore we do charge tax based on the destination of the shipment. And then you have other options such as confirm for each box, that's in our pick, pack and ship. At least one package is required, that's throughout the system, requiring a package when you choose this delivery method. Generate return label automatically. That's a relatively new feature, but what it does is it prints out a return label for those 
companies that like to put a return label in there for their customers so that if they have a problem with the shipment, they can return it. They have the label right on hand. They put that in the box. And then you have your tax category, which will trigger your tax rules, whether or not this delivery method is taxable, whether or not this delivery method is taxable, and your freight sales accounts and expense accounts. So let's choose that. And now we'll try and use it. So we'll go over and we'll create a new sales order. We'll pick our customer. Add an item. And we'll turn this into a shipment. Now for this demonstration, we'll jump over to the pick pack and ship screen and we'll scan our shipment and then we'll scan our item. There's only one item. And then we'll switch over to our pack mode. We'll pick a box and scan our item to put it in the box. These are all optional features. You don't have to pick and then pack. You can shortcut some of these features. Now we'll confirm our package. We'll put it in a weight. We can connect a scale on this. So this box is confirmed at two pounds. Now we'll switch over to our ship mode. And what Acumatica does is it queries all of your delivery methods and gives you different prices and delivery methods. So in this case, we're choosing FedEx Ground. You can see it's got the registered trademark. Our built-in FedEx carrier doesn't have that registered trademark, so that's how I know. But it's $14. It'll take five days to get there. There's the day that it'll take. Ordinarily, you may have already picked this delivery method on your order or on your shipment well in advance of getting it over to the pack and the pick stations. But nonetheless, FedEx Ground. Now, based on our settings, if we're using the device hub, our shipment confirmation and our shipment labels would have automatically printed. And the device sub settings can be a global default in terms of what printers to use, or you can pick them at your user profile. So, but here's the label. As you recall, I just used an image for the demonstration. And that's the label we printed out. So that's it. That's how to set up Ship Engine with Acumatica. We went over to Ship Engine, we set up our account, we used a specific URL. I'll bring that URL back up again. We set up the carrier and the delivery method, and we went through a pick, pack, and ship. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.